hi everyone welcome back i hope you're doing amazing i'm going to be showing you how to make this simple diy face wash this is hydrating on your skin it doesn't feel harsh or stripping so it's not going to leave your skin feeling dry after washing um, i'm going to show you step by step how i make this so let's get started and if this is your first time watching any of my videos my name is esther and i make diy hair and skincare videos as well as selling my handmade skincare products online and i also have some formulating classes everything i mentioned will be linked in the description box so let's jump right in I'm going to use my digital scale to weigh out all my ingredients and the complete formula is going to be at the end of this video. It's going to be in percentages as well as grams. I'm going to weigh out my thickener. I'm going to be using Xanthan Gum Soft um, in this face wash. And to help the Xanthan Gum Soft mix well into this um, face wash, I'm going to use some vegetable glycerin. The vegetable glycerin is going to help mix this into the face wash and it also functions as a humectant so this is going to make this face wash hydrating because glycerin helps to attract moisture to your skin and to your hair so once you add this in you just want to mix well so that all the little lumps and clumps can be mixed properly into the vegetable glycerin Since this is a water-based product, I'm going to be using a preservative which helps to stop the growth of bacteria, yeast and mold. So the preservative I'm using is Tristat Eco. This is a preservative that is approved for natural and organic formulations. Um, you are welcome to use other preservatives. I have several preservative videos that will be linked in the description box. I'm only adding this here because this preservative is not very water soluble and it is soluble in glycerin. So just mix it very well and then set it aside. I'm moving on to my water phase and I'm starting out with some distilled water and to my distilled water I'm going to add in some sodium lactate. This is optional, it functions as a humectant and it's going to help attract moisture to your skin. I opted to use some extracts. I'm using green tea extract which is packed with natural antioxidants that are amazing for your skin as well as some spinach extract. This is rich in vitamin C, E, A, K. It is also packed with natural antioxidants. Now, if you don't have any of these extracts or you don't want to use extracts, that is perfectly fine. You can leave it out of this formula. Moving on to the surfactants. The surfactants are the cleansing ingredient. So that's what's going to create the lather and that's what helps to remove oil and dirt from your skin. I'm using cocomidopropyl betaine. Um, this is also a gentle cleansing surfactant and I'm adding some cocoa glucoside. This is a natural based surfactant that's also gentle on the skin. Um, I like to use at least two surfactants to create a all round good blend for a face wash. Um, so I'm going to combine all my ingredients together. I'm going to add my water phase ingredient to my thickener and I'm going to start mixing, mixing, mixing um, just to get the mixture to start thickening up. I want to also mention that with xanthan gum, you may not see the finished thickness, viscosity for at least 24 to 48 hours. 
So keep that in mind before you make any adjustments um, to your face wash. Um, so I'm going to add in my surfactants blend and I'm just going to carefully mix so that way I don't activate too much lather. I'm going to go ahead and check the pH. This is very important when you make any water-based product. Um, to check the pH, I'm going to weigh out about 2 grams of my face wash and 18 grams of distilled water. Then I'm going to use my pH meter to take the reading. And the initial pH is at 7.12. So your skin's pH is between 4.5 to 5.5. So you want to aim for most products to fall in that range. Um, so to drop the pH, I'm going to use some citric acid solution, some 50% citric acid solution. I added about 12 drops and just mix that in and let it sit for about one to two minutes. And then I followed the same steps to recheck the pH a second time. And the pH the second time around is at 5.45. So this is within the pH of our skin. So this is pH balanced for your skin. And the face wash is pretty much ready. You are welcome to leave this overnight and see how the consistency changes the next day. Um, but so far, this is what my simple face wash is looking like. This is what the consistency, the viscosity is looking like. I'm going to go ahead and package this up. And this made 280 grams of product. And the hydrating simple face wash is ready. Please feel free to make changes and substitutions to make it work for your own face wash formula. And here is the formula in percentages as well as grams. I'm just going to show you what the lather looks like. You want to keep in mind that since this is for your face, you don't need the lather to be too much so that way it does not strip your skin because the tissue or skin on your face is more sensitive than the skin on your body. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, so this is what the lather looks like. I'm just going to apply some of the face wash in my hands. And I like to massage this in the palm of my hands for about 20 to 30 seconds to activate the lather. Then I apply all over my wet face, massage all over my face, my neck for about 30 to 60 seconds. And then I rinse off and follow up with my serum my toner moisturizer all that good stuff um, but i hope you found this video helpful um, please don't forget to like this video and leave me a heart emoji if you found this video helpful and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already if you have questions let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video thanks so much for watching bye